The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Bill died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. On the day of his baptism, Bill put on Christ. On the day of his religious profession, he was clothed with the grace to live the evangelical counsels. At the end of time, may Christ clothe him in glory and enfold him in his love. Welcome all to this celebration of the life of Father Bill Wickham. Several of his family members wanted to be here but were unable, and they will be with us uh, through video and in spirit. But let us pray together. In his baptism, Bill received the mark of Christ's cross at his profession of perpetual vows he received the image of Christ crucified and was invited to follow in his footsteps. May he come to share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that the soul of Bill, your servant and priest, whom you honored with sacred office while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God, through the death of his son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. As our provincial mentioned at the beginning, we extend our prayers and sympathies to Father Bill's large and loving family, especially to his brother Paul and his nieces and nephews, Karen, Kevin, Angela, Paul, Mary, and Gretchen. As Father Lise mentioned, the family is gathered. They're all together watching this on live stream, thankfully keeping safe. It's so important to be together and to comfort one another with assurances of faith in a time of loss. Bill's brother tells me their parents were so proud of Bill's choice to enter into religious life, and I think that pride extended to his whole family. He certainly looked forward to visiting his family each year. A visit from Father Bill meant a special meal and a mass where everyone was told, you must dress up and behave. He was a giant of a man in their eyes, both figuratively and I think all of us can say literally as well. He had a big, booming voice who teased his nieces and nephews, who enjoyed swimming, go-karting, and all sorts of fun activities with them. Through it all, he made sure that every family member felt important and special. As a chaplain for over 25 years, Bill provided pastoral care helping people to know the love of Jesus Christ by his attentiveness and his gift of ministry. Being a chaplain in a hospital is not easy. Oftentimes you walk into a room not knowing what to expect. How sick will this person be? How worried? How concerned? Do they have faith? Do they understand what this is all about? And after spending time with that person, after giving them all of your attention, then you must give them over to God as you move on to the next room, maybe never knowing what happened to them afterward. Father Bill was good at this work. In fact, he died on the same date as St. Andre Bessette, which is fitting since I'm sure both men had thousands of faith-filled conversations with people who were sick in body and mind and soul. As Paul Wickham said, his brother Bill chose a life of servanthood and made a big difference in the lives of the people he touched. He spent a lot of time with the elderly and the sick, and he enjoyed the work, being exceptionally gentle in his ministry. In the VA hospital and elsewhere, he worked with people who were on the periphery, who needed extra care. He was revered as chaplain of the VA because he approached it as a ministry of mercy, with great patience for veterans who had many challenges, physical and emotional. I'm sure Father Bill had many chances to discuss the faith with people as they or their loved ones were there. What a grace to be there and to speak the words of Jesus, the words that we heard in the gospel today, do not let your hearts be troubled. 
I am the way and the truth and the life. And I'm sure he always would have reinforced what we in Holy Cross hold so dear as our reason for being. We are men with hope to bring. St. Paul tells us, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. As people of faith, we hope in the eternal because we have experienced it here, especially in the sacraments. No matter what happens in the world, we are anchored in the cross of Jesus Christ. He tells us simply, pick up your cross and follow me. And so we do, knowing there are challenges in this life to be sure, but great joys as well. Jesus is that path that leads to the resurrection and new life. After spending his ministerial life in Wisconsin and in Portland, Bill came to Holy Cross House just last year. He knew it was time, and he quite willingly came because he had great affection and respect for the staff, many of whom had previously taken care of him. In his short time there this last year, he exhibited that same behavior that people saw in him, first as a Holy Cross brother and then as a priest for many, many years. As a confrere put it, Bill was a simple guy, a good religious, and a good community member. He was faithful to community life. That would be a wel welcome description for any of us, I think, in Holy Cross. Bill has now died with Christ. After a life spent in the hope of the resurrected Christ, hope in the eternal life that has been promised to all who believe. The Lord has told us, he has prepared a place for each of us. He has told us he will come and lead us home. Our prayer for Bill today is that the angels may come to greet him and bring him to paradise. By his religious life, by his ministry, and by his prayer, Bill knew Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. May he now rest in the peace of Christ. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from death. With confidence, we pray in his name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Bishop, Kevin, and for all those entrusted with leadership positions in the Church, especially in the Congregation of Holy Cross, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who are ill, for their recovery, and for all those providing essential services, especially those in the medical profession, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and for the safety of all our elected officials, may our nation know the healing of Christ's peace and may we all work together in harmony for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother William, who for some 15 years served the church in Oregon as a pastor and as a chaplain for the Veterans Administration, as well as an assistant superior at the University of Portland, may he rest from his labors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for all the family members and friends of Father Wickham, may they be comforted in this time of pain and know consolation and peace from our faith in Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. For the staff of Holy Cross House, which ministered to our brother William in appreciation for their service, and may they be kept well and safe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God, our shelter and our strength, hear the prayers we offer for our departed brother Bill. Cleanse him of his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, Bill, your servant and priest, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, your faithful, O Lord, indeed for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed are you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
Remember your servant, Bill, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give grand admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we implore your kindness, O God, for Bill, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven through Christ our Lord. With faith in Jesus Christ, let us take leave of our brother Bill. His religious life on this earth was a sign of the kingdom which is to come. May our farewell express our love for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day in that kingdom, we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal <coughs> Jerusalem. May the choir 
choirs of angels welcome you, where Lazarus is for no longer. May you have eternal rest. May you have eternal Angels lead you into a paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May you have eternal. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bill in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed on our brother Bill in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet again in Christ and are with you and with our brother Bill forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother Bill to his place of rest. In paradisu te ducant te angeli in tuo adventu sucipiant te martires et perducant te in civitatem sanctam Jerusalem. Chorus Angelorum, Te Suchipiat, Et cum Lazaro, Quondam pauperes. 